What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Let's go take this baddie down. For the soul cannot find true pleasure in this world. This. Which rides and struggles. not to step on any stray bones. Rumors fly that the knights come to join our flock, Arisen. <laughs> this, this is the answer, dear Arisen! <laughs> Unto all things, death and chaos. I really hope this scene doesn't get hit with copyright, because it's kind of, like, important to all the fighting we're about to do. Brains. Decide that was. Though I suppose it's the stuff of every day to you, Arisen. I'd thank you to join me for a moment. That was a waste of time. Let's slay the lot of them with holy magic! <laughs> the zealots slipped past. But at least we snared this one. An Umbla prize, to be sure. But at least he's talkative. No honor among thieves, eh? It was just a lark. All in good fun. Wait! You, you promised me! It's all yours. The Arisen ran counter to the tides. A, a heretic, he said. It is for you alone to decide, Arisen. Gotta get some oil here. Which one's me? This one's me. The price must be armed, unarmed, doesn't make a difference. Had you spared him, doubtless Mason would not have shown such mercy. That's a sleep immunity necklace. This is probably the exit near the uh, near the bridge. Yep, yep, yep. Let us return to the capital. I'll just run there. If I use my fairy stone, it's, I mean, well, yeah. Let's just run. It's right there. Perhaps out of interest is washed up. 
Actually, is this just heading back to turn in the quest? Yes. Um, let's go do the next one. Which is also in Grand Soren. But that'll finally get those altars out of my, uh, out of my inventory. I want gouge. I feel like I'm so far away from it. Way over there. I really want to get started on Dark Arisen stuff. I'm getting... I want to say around like level 50 is a decent starting point. Probably get through the main story and then jump straight into it. since I gotta pass them anyway. Then the gathering We shall redouble our vigilance here to keep I fear you are as like a target as Grand Soren. For now, I leave. Have your assistance in our endeavors. I will not keep you long, for the survey party has already set out from Grand Soren. They walk south to the ruins of the falls near the encampment. I know not what dangers await there, but I will pray fly now to their side and keep watch over them. Make her speed your steps, sir. Behind a waterfall, you say? We'll leave you when you are ready, guards altar. Follow me, Arisen. I'm on my way. I'm gonna think I want to. Let me hang on. Let me check something here. Um, well, I'm trying to think if I could have fought the thing Everfall early. Um, initially, lure the abyss. The Everfall is a pit. Everfall. Explore the side room and retrieve the treasure from the cage. Okay, no, I'm good. I was supposed to run. I was trying to think about the the tentacle thing down in um down in the Everfogs. A couple of people in comments. Like I'm recording way in advance. Uh, my my new way of dealing with people that that can't help themselves from backseating is to just record like ten episodes worth. So by the time people comment, it's usually completely irrelevant. Um, but I when I left Everfall, I didn't finish exploring. I was trying to remember if I could have fought Evil Eye then, but apparently I cannot. He is something I, I fight later, so. Which I'm probably going to do the same thing with Last of Us. Like, by the time episode one of Last of Us Part 2 goes live, I'll probably have finished recording the entire game already. Just because that way, backseating, spoilers, doesn't matter. I'll be done. You can only bitch so much about people backseating before you, you realize that People just can't help themselves. Oh, here we go. This is the Griffin.
Actually, I don't think we can even fight this thing right now. Yeah, I think that's the one that flies away, and I fight him later. We got some good damage into him. Speaking of uh, people backseating, you want to hear some some messed up shit? Um, I'm sure quite a few of you have heard of uh, I think it's like Curly Shirley or Shirley Curly or whatever. It was basically this like 80 year old lady Careful, loved playing Skyrim. <laughs> was doing Skyrim playthroughs on YouTube just for fun, you know? Like video games like that didn't exist when she was growing up. So just the idea of exploring a world in its entirety was something that was really appealing to her. And a lot of people liked watching this because it was just this, like, incredibly pure, untainted Skyrim experience from someone that's not even a big gamer. And she did this for a while, and more lately, um, the amount of people trying to backseat this poor old woman's Skyrim playthrough got so bad that she decided to just stop doing it. She has officially stepped away from playing Skyrim because of people trying to backseat her playthrough. How messed up is that? Backseating is such a weird thing because, like, <clears throat> I don't know, my, my perception of it is that unless advice is asked for, it shouldn't be given. I think that unwarranted advice is, uh, it's rude, you know? It's like, like, I mean, take it, take it in, in any context, you know, take it out of gaming. Let's say you're, you're out, like, grilling on your deck, right? And you're, you're cooking up some burgers and some hot dogs, and you have that one guy that shows up that's like, you know, I think you should cook that one a little longer, or, oh yeah, this one looks like it's getting ready to turn. Like, nobody likes that person. Everyone's like, fuck off, Kyle. This is my barbecue. I got it handled. Or if you're like, oh, another example, you're, you're trying to, uh, I mean, the most common is you're, you're trying to, to drive. That's where the term backseating comes from. You're going somewhere, and you have that one guy that's like, oh, I think we should go with this way. It's faster. And you're like, nah, Google Maps says to go this way. No, bro, I take these back roads. Like, shut up. I don't care. I'm following my phone. I'm the one in the driver's seat, not you. And then you get to, to games, of course. And you just have people that, like, they can't help themselves. They just, uh... They have to... They have to give their input. If you don't listen to their input, they don't want to, you know... They, they It's needed. It's like a disease. And I think the thing that's, that's extra shitty about it... I mean, with the walkthroughs, you know... Thankfully, I know everything by that point, so... The backseating is irrelevant. Um, but with something like a Let's Play, like on a game like this, that's, uh, <clears throat> you know, a number of years old, and I'm just messing around it for fun, I don't mind it as much, but when, uh, it happens in, in, uh, a game that's not as old, I'm trying to experience, like a big one was the Long Dark, I had a lot of people, so many people trying to backseat the Long Dark series that I almost stopped playing, and there's always a interesting uh points they're always like oh well you know you shouldn't upload videos if you don't want advice or oh you you need to you need to just expect it or you you should disable comments if you don't want people doing this and it's such a selfish mindset to think that unless i'm willing to let people force information onto me that I shouldn't upload to YouTube. Because at the end of the day, the concept of a Let's Play is a blind experience going through a game. You know, it's it's that, that blind, hey, I'm gonna play this and hopefully you wanna watch me play it and some parts are gonna be really good and there's gonna be other parts where I probably make mistakes. But I think making those mistakes is an integral part of the Let's Play experience. And when you have people that wanna backseat advice, that essentially takes away your chance to make mistakes. And if that's the case, I mean, it's just like a half-assed walkthrough, you know? It's a it's a chat-guided walkthrough, if you will. Um, and this isn't referring to Dragon's Dogma in particular. I just, 
I figured it was time for an interesting dis it was a interesting discussion point, given that uh poor lady abandoned her Skyrim playthrough over people backseating. But I do think there's like a fine line to it. Um between like what constitutes backseating and what constitutes advice. So, like for example, I had um in the Monster Train playthrough the other day someone was like, Hey, uh quick tip, uh, you know, during some of the longer battle sequences, you can hold right click and it'll speed up combat even faster than ultra fast. And I was like, oh shit, that's good to know. Something like that, that's just straight advice, you know? It's something that it doesn't have a a um, informational impact on the gameplay. It's not going to change, you know, how I build out my decks, but it will improve the overall experience. But if somebody had been like, oh, well, I don't think you should be playing... Uh, this card you should have removed these two cards out of your deck and you should have grabbed this instead and you know You would have been a lot better if you did this at that point. It's like bro play the game for yourself Like and that hasn't happened yet. Thankfully. We don't have people trying to uh, to backseat how I should be playing Because that shit's super irritating, but that does happen in games there. There's people that you know they want to tell you how to play the game, and they want you to play it by their standards. And it's such a weird concept to me, because, you know, if that's the case, why not just play the game for yourself? Like, what point is there in coming to a Let's Play that's like a blind experience, and then attempting to influence that experience so it meets some unknown metric of your choosing for your personal enjoyment, you know? Like, if you want... If you want the game play, like, I mean, take Skyrim, for example. If I was playing Skyrim, and people would be like, oh, you should play as an archer. Like, no, I'm not here to play as an archer. If you want to play as an archer, you can always play as an archer. Everybody has Skyrim at this point. It's just, it's such a weird concept to me. Oh, no. Oh my god, I'm getting just trounced right now. Get off of me, mages! Age still. I can't see him, but. Where's the shitty mage at? Oh, it's the one up top. Beat your ass, bro. Keep it up, y'all. I'm just grabbing up all the waterfall gelatin roots. Attack once I blind them. Ah! It has but one eye. Strike Come <laughs> on. 
pawn died, though. She fell into the... darkness. Poor Valkyrie. Anyway, to close out the discussion, though, what, what do you guys think? Is it... Is there ever an instance, aside from somebody saying, like, hey, freely offer advice that people... Like, is, is YouTube a place where it should be encouraged, you know? I mean, after all, I think part of part of uh, content is community interaction, but does that mean people should just constantly suggest what they think someone should do if they're watching what's intended to be a blind series? Actually, you know what? I can. Um, Ah, juked. I'm gonna go get back, Valkyrie, before we get too deep into this. Wait, well, thankfully this place won't take long since we had already uh, opened all the major paths. No, you know what? I think it's just that one guy. Let's just kill him. Let's go. time to catch up because we're already at like 23 minutes and I'm pretty sure we just kill this Cyclops and then we are done here Ooh, right under the legs Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, that's that's the that's the big boy Cyclops. Maybe I don't want to mess with you right now. I mean more than anything that was gravity, but it's probably worth it to have Valk here. Yeah, let's go get her. We got the quest thing, we can turn it in. Get Valk, come back in here and kill that guy. Honestly, now that I know he's here, because we already killed one when we came here before, it might be worth it saving that one for when I have a gouge. Just to really show off how brutal it can be. It's not hard to get back over here, it's just a quick run through the caverns and boom. Jean? I... Please. That he may know some sights such as these, some have held revel off time. Yes, I will not rest until it's the faith. We yeah, so it's done already. I just had to turn it all five, and I already had them. So let's go. Uh Back to Grand Sora we go, and we'll get back our pawn. Plus, I need to check over gear and all that stuff, so it'd be good to do that now. Got a couple new pieces that look like they could potentially be good. Doing that on the resting soon enough. That's not it. Here. Can summon pawns as necessity commands here at the pawn board. Me, I am asked to work. Can't go wrong. Update that bad boy. It seems kind of like a waste to upgrade that. I mean, look at the other thing I picked up. It's 
to magic. Frozen solid, poison, thunder, light. Okay. One, two. Well, I'm gonna. It's gonna be a while since I'm gonna be going through gear and comparing numbers. So I'll wrap up here. Uh, next episode, we'll probably head on out towards the Shadow Fort. Um, I can put a port crystal over there and we can take on the, the goblin assault. So that should be fun. So stay tuned. Catch you guys then with more. Honor,